I just decided two days ago that that's it. I'm not going to have that anymore. My living room is cute except for this big giant elephant in the room that I just, I'm like, I just try not to look up. Yesterday I woke up, I looked at it, and I said, you know what, this is the last time. You don't need a ceiling fan if it's ugly. I don't care how hot it gets. We're making starfish chandelier today. We're going to take an old piece of a lamp and we're going to take a bunch of starfish and some rhinestones and we're going to get our drill out and then we're going to have this chandelier hanging from the ceiling and it's going to be dripping, dripping with starfish that are covered in rhinestones. This is what I found. It's it's just, it used to be a chandelier of some kind, but all the crystals escaped except for these three. We're gonna use our drill, some glue, and some paint, and we're gonna whip this thing together. Go to a thrift store, find an old lamp, paint it the color that you want, and then you can go to town. CC Caldwell paint sticks to metal, and it looks a lot better than spray paint. You could make a giant chandelier and just use like a whole bucket full of them. You could just like 10 times this amount so I only need 30 or 35 but you you might need more just it just depends on what kind of chandelier thing you find and how big you want to go so we're gonna drill a hole here and here with the tiny drill bit it's super tiny it's like it's like the size of a toothpick I think you want the smallest drill bit they sell because these starfish are skinny. I don't know the number, but it's small. It's tiny. That's what you need to do. Drill holes on each of the starfish. Some will need two holes and some will need just one. I'm going to have strands of three going around the chandelier. I have used crystals to wire my starfish together. You could also use glass beads or chain. Thread the wire through each end of your starfish so that you can connect them together. You want half of the strands to be longer than the others so that your starfish hangs staggered on your chandelier. So we're going to use this and glue them onto every single starfish and it's going to be super glittery, gorgeous, glamorous. You will need wire cutters and E6000 glue to glue the rhinestones onto each and every starfish. I have used a variety of vintage buttons, crystals, and broken jewelry for the middle of my starfish. People on YouTube, they go like this, but I'd rather do this, because I think you can see it better like this. If you like your chandelier just like this, you can just stop right here. The problem for me, the starfish turn around and around, so you can see the crystal side as well as the back side of the starfish, and I don't want that to happen. I'm going to look for starfish that are not facing out like they should be, flip them around, drill a hole in them, and wire them in place. And when I'm done, it's going to be like a big fishnet going around the chandelier, but all of the starfish are going to be facing out. Visit my blog to find out more details on how to make this chandelier or to order the supplies. Go to debbiesdesigndiary.blogspot.com or click the link down below. Thanks for watching.